Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about my FG knot jig that I created. Um, as you see here, this is a simple, simple jig. It shows you guys the main line, where the tag end goes, and where the leader goes. Um, and we'll get right into it. Now we see here that I have it all numbered off for you guys. You have one on the left, two on the right, three in the middle. Those are showing you where each line goes. Um, it's really simple jig. Uh, I'll make sure I link how to make this jig uh, in the description box. So what we're gonna do for this how-to video is show you guys how to do it. This is Power Pro 65 pound braid, and this is gonna be our main line, obviously. We're gonna wrap that around number one, and we're gonna bring it to number two um, to start off with. So with my system, it's just wing nuts that you wrap around, you use little grommets, uh, through hole grommets to, to make sure your line doesn't get cut up by those threads. You wrap it around in one, at the one position, it does not move. The two one will move. So after you do one, one's not gonna move until you're absolutely done. So we have it stretched across. We're gonna make sure our wings are out and we're gonna take our, our leader line, which is Cajun Red, it's like 30 pounds. And we're going to wrap that around number three but we're gonna leave about six inches over the top of number three, you know, six to eight inches, depending on how well you can do this knot um, with this jig, it is just fine. So I wrap it around that grommet and I'm going to tighten it up here. And now basically the knot can begin. Now uh, you're gonna take it and I pinch where the work intersects. I'm gonna take my leader and I'm gonna go up around towards number two, around the main line and back towards me. And then I'm gonna to jump to the other side and go up again and back around, around number one side and come towards me. So I like to do everything by odds and even, so that's one. The other side will be two, so that's odd and even. And that's how I keep track. I usually do about 20. Um, I know this knot is very uh, is very open. A lot of people have different styles of doing it. Some people do up to like 25 and 30 and 35. I just stick to 20. I think 20 is a good number. Um, I've caught big fish on this, this knot, so I, I don't worry about it breaking. And um, what I'm doing here is just going back and forth. And if I'm doing it right, it's that, that braid is gonna start going down that leader if I'm doing it right and this is a new jig that I built so the rivets that I put in the wings aren't necessarily uh, they're really tight right now they'll loosen up over time and those wings will start to go in so I have to adjust those wings so they come in when uh, more and more braid gets wrapped up into that leader so I'm just going back and forth and I'm doing this about 20 times I'm not even keeping track right now how many I'm doing, but I think I stopped around 20. And uh, you guys get the picture. It's up and around, go jump to the other side, up and around. And I'm pulling tight and I'm making sure that I'm not bunching up in a ball. And once you, if you do this, you'll understand that a ball, you want it to make sure that it is going down that leader. It's more, it is important to go down the leader. All right, let's speed it up. All right, as I'm finishing up with this last wrap, that will be number 20, uh, making sure everything's nice and tight and wrapped. And now I'm gonna bunch down all my weaves and braids or whatever you wanna call them of this knot together and make them nice and tight, give it a little pull. And that should lock everything in. Nothing should be popping out or anything like that. Everything looks good. We can now take everything and move it around. So now we're gonna detach number two 
which is our tag end of our main line. We're gonna pull that back towards one, and we're gonna detach three and move our leader to number two. So we go from three to two. And we take that, wrap that around, pull it tight. And now we're just doing our finishing um, granny knots, overhand knots, whatever you wanna call them, um, to knock this out and be done with it. Now, when you're doing the overhand knots and granny knots, you could do, I've seen people do 10, 15 of, on top of this, of what we just did. Um, I usually stick between uh, three and four, three and three. I, I'll do three on the um, on the leader tag end, and I'll do three on the main line tag end, uh, just to make sure everything is sealed down. And if one one of those overhand knots comes loose, I still have a bunch more that are holding in. So I usually do three and three for this situation. Um, I'm only going to do like one or two on each one, and sometimes I'll double it through, which I do on this one. So I'm pulling everything tight, making sure everything's not all, anything coming undone. And I am now gonna do my first overhand knot at the end, which is with my main leader braid. And all I'm doing here is cutting it down so it's not so long, because um, it's a pain when it, when it gets that long. Um, so now I take it, do my overhand knot, and uh, every all these knots you could wet um, it's just a habit of mine and it's a good habit to have if you just put the knot in your mouth, wet it, and then keep going. Uh, everything will hold tighter when it's, when it's wet. I'm not doing it in this demonstration. So go ahead and make sure you wet your knots. Uh, so now I'm laying down my main leader braid and I'm taking my, um, my, my main, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, my main line braid and wrap it around. Now I'm taking my, um, taking my leader line now and doing an overhand knot. So I'm pinching where it crosses over and then putting it through just like an overhand knot, pulling it tight, wet it, pull it tight. And then um, I'm, I just switch back and forth between the two types of line. Um, you know, my, my jig's not perfect but I, I think I'm very proud of it. So um, if it loosens up on you, you can pull the lines tight again and you're good to go. Uh, so here I'm doing my last last knot here. I wanna make sure this, uh, this leader line is to cinch down. And now I'm gonna do a double granny knot to cinch everything down and be done with it. So after cinching down uh, your knots, your uh, holding knots, I guess they're called, I have no idea. Um, you're gonna go ahead and just cut off the tag ends. Now you can cut your tag ends as close to the knot as you possibly can. And after you get those tag, tag ends cut, you can take it out of the jig, give it a pull, make sure it's not gonna go slip on you and pop for some reason, and uh, you're good to go. Now I have noticed with this knot, if uh, when you're reeling it in, you will feel it go through back through the guides, but you will absolutely not feel the knot when you cast. Um, and that goes for any type of style you use for the FG knot. You're gonna feel it. So please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Check the video down below uh, in the description box if you would like to learn how to build this jig and do it on your own.